your register, Kelly? It's Sarah. Yeah. Okay. So you've seen the training video. And this is all familiar to you. And I don't need to tell you anymore. Well, I did watch the training video, but... Yeah, what else? Scan the groceries, get the money, and get on to the next customer. If you don't have a bagger, you'll have to do it yourself. Ask them if they want paper or plastic. They want plastic, but we have to offer both because it's corporate policy. I don't need to tell you anymore. Well, this is my first job. Yeah, I've been here at Pearson Foods for five years, and now I'm the assistant manager. <laughs> Which is an important job with lots of responsibilities. Today, I have to organize the Christmas displays. But it's August. I know. I'm late. <laughs> well, me and my mom always shop at the store. Well, working here seemed better than working at fast food. But I want to do a good job. I really do. I dug out of her attic this old toy register had when I was a girl. And I found all my little fruits and vegetables and lined them up. And I practiced over the weekend. Oh, and I got to be pretty fast. Yeah, that'd be a great story if I cared. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you won't last a month anyway. Well, yes, I will. None of your high school kids last. I will. Enthusiasm really doesn't impress anyone at Puritan Foods, Tracy. It, it's Sarah. Yeah. OK. You get a 15-minute break every four hours, but not if there's anyone waiting to check out. You get a 2% discount on some foods. There's a list in the break room. But it's mostly just old canned goods, so I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> there's security cameras up there. They watch to see if you steal food. That's one way to get fired. Another way? is to bug me and hassle me with questions and complaints. <laughs> but what if the customer had the problem? Deal with it. One more thing, watch out for the cowboy. The cowboy? And whatever you do, this is very important, don't make Angus mad. Wait, who is Angus? So yeah, welcome to Puritan Foods. Wait, who's Angus? I don't need to tell you anymore. <laughs> Attention, Puritan food shoppers, attention. Due to an accident at our fresh fish counter, we will no longer have Maine lobsters for sale. I, any customer who happens to buy the lobster on a shelf or in a grocery cart can have that lobster for half off. <laughs> that is just our way of saying thank you for shopping at Puritan Foods. like I've been here for days. I'm sorry, I'll go as fast as I can, but did you find what you needed? Oh, yes. I don't know why no, it takes so long. I guess you did. Yes, I know. They're just kids. OK, do you want paper or plastic? Oh, I know. Ma'am, paper or plastic? Yeah, I know. I'm just so in tune. Paper or plastic? Hey, is there a problem? Can you start? Checking me out? Well, it's corporate policy. I have to ask I you. I cannot believe in this day and age that they don't have one of those automated checkout thingies. To never deal with a person, that would be so much more efficient. <laughs> Ma'am? I, you know, I'm very sympathetic. Empathetic? Whatever. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's almost like a curse, really. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm just so in tune. Well, and you know, I could really make a difference if I only had the time. If I wasn't stuck doing these menial tasks like standing around in a grocery store for who knows what reason. You know what I could do? I could be a counselor. I could! I like to listen to people. <laughs> yeah, my listening skills are excellent. And it's not, no, no wait. I'm not finished. <laughs> I could listen to people all the live long day. Mm -hmm. What? Well, I don't know her. Mm -hmm. But that's very... He hello? I think the battery died. Oh, I know. Is there a problem? Can you start checking me out? Well, sure. Paper or plastic? Oh. Oh, are you there? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, I know. I don't know what happened. Mm, no. I'm 
still stuck at the store. <laughs> Attention, beards and food shoppers. Attention. Due to a mix-up at the manufacturing plant, the cartons of Mr. Salty Salt are not, as the label says, toxic dreams rat poison. <laughs> Also, cans of Big Boy Chili are, in fact, Good Boy Dog Food. <laughs> we are so sorry for this inconvenience, and thank you for shopping at Puritan Foods. You know, you don't have to memorize the numbers. There's stickers on the apples and bananas. You can look at the sheet. I know, but when there's so many people in line... This is putrid food. Do you think anybody cares? Well, this is my first job. I also like to call it the Barfum Bag or the Wilkes Butter Store. I'm Regina. Hi, I'm Sarah. Oh, the new girl. Yeah, I heard you sent a customer to complain to Carl. I know, but she- The last cashier that did that had to mop the freezer. And she got double pneumonia. <laughs> she did? Yep, and she like quit and went to the hospital. <laughs> Time for some cart hunting! Hoop hoop! Oh, what do you do? Great cart hunt. Hey, look! It's the new girl! Regina, have you seen the new girl? Saw her, told her she's a fool, all over it. You're the one that sent a customer to Carl. What were you thinking? Dude, <laughs> why you gotta yell like that? Huh? <laughs> oh, I got ear pods in my ears. Sorry about that. Wait, are you Angus? Angus? Well, you are the new girl. Everybody here at Puritan Foods knows who I am. My name is Kenny, the great cart hunter. The cart hunter? Yes, you see, every once in a while, Carl lets us go hunt for carts that have wandered off. Kenny? Why don't you be quiet and quit acting the crazy fool while other people work? Because these carts are expensive. A couple hundred bucks each, you know. But I am a great cart hunter and I will track down and capture any wild cart. Wahoo! <laughs> Kenny is like the craziest of them all. <laughs> yeah, we made that cart under the bridge. Uh, yeah, that's little Sam. She's a little hyper, but she's cool. Hey, Kenny. I brought some tools to help get that cart. That cart has been stuck under that bridge for, well, maybe a hundred years. If I'm not going to get that cart, and I am not going to get that cart, <laughs> then there's no way that you are going to get that cart. I bet Carl would give us a bonus if we got it. Yeah, but it's wedged in the pipe under the bridge. So forget it. We could get it together. Yes, but... Carl isn't going to let you go anyway. Why not? Because you're little Sam. You're a girl, and you're little, and, well, you might get hurt. <laughs> okay, Kenny, you have an hour. An hour? Yes, you have one hour in your little survivor excursion, and I don't need to tell you anymore. Wait, yes, I do. Stay out after one hour, and you're off the clock. Take these guys with you. Yes, sir. Wahooga! Attention, Puritan food shoppers. Attention. 
Are you feeling blue? Down in the dumps? Are you ready to take a long, hot bath with a hairdryer? <laughs> if that's the case, the Peer to Foods is here to help with special discount prices on all depression medication. <laughs> Including Zola, Xanax, and malt liquor. <laughs> Be sure to check out these t these things today, and thank you for shopping at Pure Foods. Paper or plastic? Oh, uh, plastic. Plastic? No, dude. Paper? No, dude. Like deforestation? No, dude. Like plastic baggy handles around little birdies' necks. No, dude, you're thinking about the dolphins. Dude, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah, dolphins, right. Sorry, dude. Okay, paper or plastic? Paper, yeah, that'll work. Hey, do you know if it's acid-free paper? Yeah, is it acid-free? What? Or is it made out of hemp? <laughs> did you say hemp? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Yeah, they're right there. Chocolate centers, love those. <laughs> okay, check out, lady. We're getting it together here. Okay, my name is Sarah. Wait, are you Angus? Dude, she thinks I'm Angus. <laughs> oh, freak. Like, I know. Of all the things I think I'd have to contemplate in the natural world, that would be like, does not compute. That will not boot. No boot, no sir. Okay, reset. Yeah, reset. Plastic pa paper is like evil. It's made out of chemicals. Like, you don't see it growing on trees, you know? Yeah, but they chopped down all the trees to make the paper sacks. So, plastic or paper? Hey, dudes. Paper? Plastic? <laughs> Ugh. I wish I wasn't so hungry. <laughs> dudes. Aren't you the two that drive that blue Chevy van? You mean the blue dude? That be us, Miss Sarah. The blue dude. It is our awesome chariot. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. An awesome piece of junk blue Chevy van that leaks oil and belched black smoke and probably burns enough fossil fuels in your drive with Puritan Foods to produce a lifetime supply amount of paper and plastic bags for you to confuse burnout. <laughs> Ouch. Harsh. <laughs> <laughs> Way off the chain there, Sarah. Okay, so paper or plastic? Plastic. <laughs> Dude! We also have an overwhelming selection of the latest magazines, including Log Cabin Monthly, Log Cabin Weekly, The Sawgrass, the Sawgrass and Log Cabin Review, The Daily Civil War Miniature Digest, The Obscure Punctuation Gazette, My Pigeon Has a Middle Name, Ferret Fancy, Marmoset Fancy, Iguana Fancy, North American Rich Pack Raccoon Fancy, Trading Pot Holders, and People. Be sure to check out these magazines today and thank you for shopping at Puritan Foods. Man, it looks like one of your eggs in your carton is cracked. You want me to get you another one? Oh, uh, no. Uh, that's, that's all right. Shouldn't take long, really. Well, we'll take. You have to go, so probably no, if that's all right. <laughs> you sure? Well, I'm just, uh, whatever. All right, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you find everything okay? Find everything okay? Um, well, did you find everything you need? Uh, no. Um, okay. Well, then what is it that you were looking for? Sundries and such. You know. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Do you want paper or plastic? Ha! Nylon. What? <laughs> I want your nylon receptacle, of course. Hey, listen, all we have is paper or plastic. Do you want paper or plastic? Now, ain't that a roll of kicking the keister? You know, I have been to this here trading post before, and they gave me nylon. They did? Yeah, that boy Angus did. Wait, Angus? <laughs> Orange, you. Orange, you glad? Orange is on sale in the produce department. 
permit? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to tip your cashiers, folks. They will be open all night. Thank you for shopping up here to Blues. Yeah. Okay. Regina, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm bagging. I need you to do something else. You're supposed to be bagging. Trina didn't show. Who's Trina? I hired her last night. What about Sarah? Who? The new girl. Looks like Mamont, Katarina, Cletus, Harry, and Constance didn't show today either. Have you seen little Sam? No, I thought she quit. I don't know. Maybe. Probably. Anyway, that's the situation as it now stands. I don't need to tell you anymore. Um, Carl? What about that girl you keep sending to the freezer? She's in the freezer. Again? She keeps sending customers to me. <laughs> Isn't that what she's supposed to do? I am the assistant manager. I don't have time to work. <laughs> what are you doing? I've been cleaning the freezer. Are you Belinda? I'm Sarah. Sarah. And I'm freezing. What are you doing? What does it look like he's doing? The same thing he always does. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Kenny, what are you supposed to be doing? I'm uh, taking care of our carts in the parking lot. I need you to help inside. Uh, there's no one here, Carl. <laughs> I don't need to tell you anymore. Will somebody <laughs> please tell me who Angus is? Please. Well, she's already met the cowboy. <laughs> I got it. Oh, you didn't think I could get it, but I got it. Got what? Oh my god, you stink. <laughs> <laughs> Here it is. Oh I was fetching that pipe under the bridge at the bottom of the hill. You didn't get that cart. <laughs> what? Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, I did. This is that card. This is the card that you couldn't get, Kenny Cart Hunter. I got it. Me, little Sam. I got some of my dad's tools, and it took sense this morning. All day, really. Man, I got bit by some bugs. And when somebody was driving <laughs> over the bridge, they threw a cup and a Wendy's bag at me. But I got it. <laughs> yeah, she's right. You smell. <laughs> Next time, you'll ask me to go car hunting, won't you? Because I can get any car from anywhere. Forget the others. Just ask me, little Sam. Clock out, go home, <laughs> and take a shower. <laughs> what? Go home. You can't be in a grocery store smelling like that. I got the car, the car under the bridge. It was like wedged in there. I spent all morning. Great. That's one car. I'll put you. I'll put you down for an extra fifty cents. Fifty cents. <laughs> Yes, there's crazy people in this world, more than I ever thought. 
lots of crazy things going on. Before I had this job, I guess I was just sheltered or something. <laughs> Everybody who tries to work here quits or runs from the manager and avoids doing anything. But I don't mind doing this job. I sort of like it, but it's not easy. I understand. You don't let it bother you. You're obviously a smart and capable girl. You just have to stay true to yourself. I know that sounds simple, but it's true. There are many things in this world that are just beyond our control. All you can do is what you know is right, and it will all work out in the end. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Thanks. You wouldn't believe what just happened to me. I think I would. You know, I read the Weekly World News, too. You do? Yeah, hold those stories. They're so funny. Funny? Well, I think they're funny. I guess I don't understand. You know, the bad boy escapes from his cave. My cat's Adolf Hitler. <laughs> Aliens meeting with the president. Is that in this issue? Uh, I don't know. Where did you see that? See what? The aliens meeting with the president. Collapsed or nifty. It wasn't supposed to have happened yet. There was an urgent issue with the gamma rays that needed to be discussed. Wait, gamma rays? Of course, you imbecile. Haven't you looked at the moon lately? This is not good. This is not good at all. Mortag and Palaxo were very clear that they would alert me on channel 2 at 20 zero hour. Elvis disagreed, but Elvis always disagrees. <laughs> is this your only issue? Where are the rest? Where are the rest of the papers? That's all we have. Then take me to your leader. <laughs> Nifty, re pow pow pow. Nifty, guitar. Nifty, guitar. Grocery store, new girl. Call the manager. <laughs> <laughs>
So there you go. This won't be my life. It won't? No way. Like, I'm a drummer, a metal drummer for my wicked black metal band, The Screaming Bleeders. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like that name. Me too. We're the Screaming Bleeders. <laughs> You any good? I can play loud. <laughs> <laughs> New girl, I had it told nobody this, but there's a label that's gonna send us on the road. The Screaming Leaders Tour. Wicked, huh? Sure. Until then, I gotta work here. How do you put up with it? My dad, like, owns the store. <laughs> he does? Yeah, part of his portfolio, like a textile thing. <laughs> He's real into all that. <laughs> and you're into metal? Black metal, new girl. <laughs> and you're not gonna play. I'm not? No, because I like you. Well, that's nice, but I can't keep mopping the freezer. <laughs> Here's something to know. Wait a few days and Carl will put some other new girl on freezer patrol. Really? Yeah, I've seen it happen like many of times. I know, but the customers are just so weird and mean. Here's what you do. When a customer starts whining about something or tells you they're in a hurry, you just start playing drums in your head, like this. <laughs> <laughs> it works every time. But I can't play drums. I can't either. <laughs> but you can play drums in your head. Thank you to Derek. Yay! 